Hi, I'm Manu Vasudevan from the AWS by Doing team. Welcome to this educational video series, AWS by Doing, wherein you can learn AWS cloud computing by following along with an AWS certified solutions architect. We acknowledge and thank the official AWS documentation material, which we have used to produce this educational video. Although we will try to keep all resources consumed eligible for the free tier, ensuring that you are not charged or minimizing your charges is your responsibility. To minimize charges, remember to delete all created chargeable resources after each session. This time, we will walk you through a hands-on lab on Use CodeStar to build a Lambda-based Node.js serverless web application, set up a continuous delivery toolchain, use code commit for source control, use code pipeline to automate your release process, use Cloud9 to change some code in the Node.js project, commit the change, trigger your continuous pipeline and redeploy your project, and then delete all created resources. Estimated cost for doing this hands-on? No charge, as CodeStar and Cloud9 are free tier eligible. Prerequisite AWS skill level? Beginner with general understanding of AWS serverless and CI-CD concepts. To set up a free tier eligible AWS account and a user with sufficient permissions, check out our video on Create Admin User. To begin, fire up a browser, preferably Google Chrome, and head to aws.amazon.com. Sign into the AWS Management Console as a user with administrator credentials. Navigate to CodeStar. On the CodeStar homepage, select Start a Project. CodeStar can assist you by administering AWS resources on your behalf. To enable this feature, CodeStar needs to create an AWS service role for you. On the Create Service Role dialog, choose Yes, Create Role. On the Choose a Project Template page, choose the Node.js template which includes a web application and AWS Lambda. You can use CodeStar to develop a variety of applications such as websites, web applications, web services, and Alexa skills. You can develop in Java, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, C Sharp, Go, HTML, and Python. If this is the first time that you're using CodeStar, you might see a screen like this asking for your display name and email. Key them in and click on Next. On the Project Details page for Project Name, enter Node.js Serverless Project with hyphens. Confirm that you have selected AWS Code Commit, then select Next. On the Review Project Details page, notice CodeStar will set up a complete continuous integration pipeline using Code Commit for version control, AWS Code Build to build and test, and AWS CloudFormation for deployment to Lambda. Additionally, CodeStar will use Amazon CloudWatch to monitor your application. Select Create Project. On the Setup Tool page, under Pick How You Want to Edit Your Code, select AWS Cloud 9, then select Next. On the Set Up Your AWS Cloud 9 Environment page, under Recommended Instances, select T2 Micro and select Next. The Cloud9 IDE will run on this instance and you will access it via your browser. This can take a few minutes. Now, 
AWS CodeStar will set up your CodeStar project and connect it to your Cloud9 IDE. In a few minutes, you will get a success, your project and IDE are set up and ready to use message. Setting up the code pipeline and making the initial deployment might take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, so feel free to take a coffee break. After some time, you can refresh the browser page to update the code pipeline status. Soon, your project dashboard will display. Find the application endpoints tile and select the link between the horizontal bars. Your new Node.js application should display in a new tab or browse windows. While your continuous deployment process completes, the waiting icon cube will continue to show up and disappear. Change, then deploy your application. In this step, you will make changes to your application code with Cloud9, then commit your changes to Code Commit, which will tell Code Pipeline to automatically trigger the build of your code via Code Build and deployment via CloudFormation to Lambda. Back in the AWS CodeStar dashboard, select Start Coding. Now, CodeStar will clone your Git repository into your Cloud9 environment and open the Cloud9 IDE in your browser. On the bottom of the Cloud9 IDE in the Bash tab, change directory to start working with your code using the following command. Now that your environment is set up completely, you are ready to start developing. In the Cloud9 IDE, select the Navigate tab on the left, then select index.html. This will open the index.html file in your Cloud9 IDE. Like most IDEs, Cloud9 has shortcut keystrokes for editing and finding text. To find the line of code to change, do a Command F on Mac OS, Control F on Windows or Linux. Type Apple into the Find search bar and the Cloud9 editor will scroll to highlight the Apple string on or about line 62. In the Cloud9 IDE, add three exclamation points after the word application, then save your changes by doing the key combination of Command S on Mac OS, Control S on Windows or Linux. Using the Bash tab at the bottom of the Cloud9 IDE, confirm you saved your changes by typing in the following command. If git returns modified colon public slash index.html in red, you have successfully saved your changes and you are ready to stage and commit your own changes. If git returns nothing to commit working tree clean, you need to save your changes in the Cloud9 IDE. Now stage your changes, commit your changes, and push the changes to the master branch in git on code commit using the following command.
After pushing your changes to the master branch and code commit, code pipeline will trigger the continuous deployment process. Monitor the process by accessing your AWS CodeStar dashboard and scrolling down to the continuous deployment tile. Over a few minutes, you will see your code move from the source stage, through the build stage, and finally through the deploy stage. Making the modified deployment might take anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, so feel free to take a coffee break. Once your code has reached deploy, confirm your changes have reached your live web application by selecting the URL in the CodeStar application endpoints tile. Once the page loads in your browser, confirm it contains the exclamation points you added. Congratulations, you just updated your application. Terminate your resources. In this step, you will terminate your CodeStar project, your Cloud9 environment, and all related resources. Terminating resources that are not actively being used reduces costs and is a best practice. Not terminating your resources can result in a charge. To access the main CodeStar console page, select AWS CodeStar. Select the ellipsis, then select Delete. In the Delete Project screen, type Node.js Server LE into the text box and select Delete. You have deleted your CodeStar project. CodeStar creates a bucket for your project. You might want to delete this bucket. This will prevent a project creation error if you create a CodeStar project with the same name in the future. Navigate to the S3 console. Locate the bucket created by CodeStar. Now empty it. Then delete it. You have now deleted your CodeStar project bucket. Feel free to do the same to the other CodeStar buckets if there are more. Congratulations! You have used AWS CodeStar and AWS Cloud9 to build, develop, and deploy an AWS Lambda-based Node.js serverless web application. And you've also deleted all created resources. Thanks for watching! Please give a thumbs up to this video to encourage us and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Also, subscribe to this channel, AWS by Doing, and we will update you regularly with our latest and greatest offerings. Write in a comment of what you liked and how we can improve. Happy cloud computing, and we will see you again in the next episode from the AWS by Doing team.